it's not a chan's voice mom where are you why did you disappear why did you leave me oh, come back are these nanako chan's feelings but i'm not lonely i have dad with me I know he's always late coming home, and he never plays with me because he's so busy. He can't cook or do laundry either. He tries to be nice, though he is a little scary sometimes. But I love him. Big Bro is with me now, too. So I'm not alone. I'm not lonely. Little kid. Telling herself she's not lonely so she doesn't fall apart. You idiot. We'll ruin everything if we act all sad. We gotta greet her with a smile. Nana chan. What's the matter? Something's not right. There's someone here besides Nanako chan. It was faint at first, so I couldn't tell for sure. But there's definitely another person here. And whoever this is, their power's getting stronger. Could it be Namatame? Did he duck in here after being cornered like Mitsuo? Perhaps so. It seemed as if he was particularly determined to kidnap Nanako-chan. But why? If he's the real culprit, he must know the dangers of coming into this world. I don't know. But if it is him, he may have entered from a TV near the site of the accident. Perhaps even the TV in his truck. Which means Nanako-chan may be in grave danger. We must hurry.
You're doing well. Alright, so let's start doing some fusions here. So if we fuse Taowu and Throne together, we get uh, Harati. Which is a pretty good Priestess Arcana. It's got the buffs, so I mean, that's nice. I don't think I'll be using her, but... I decided, since I had a bunch of Personas with me, to just fuse them. I don't know, it just seemed like a good idea. So let's start fusing. I think I fuse like... I plan to fuse about four personas here. Yeah, well, there's just quite a few.
I'm going to have like no personas after this. Madeira Han, ooh, that's always nice. Uh, fully heals everyone max HP, no matter what. Unless if they have no HP, but Summer Karm can handle that too. Uh, this is probably the ultimate healing persona. Well, at this point in the game at least. I think there are better ones later. Alright, so I guess, uh, give me a second while I go find more personas. Alright, so if we get fuse our Nidigor and our Lara Cheese, the fortune, we get Mother Harlot, which is a really awesome, well, I get really odd looking persona, but, eh, Mirror Aragon and not very good stuff. I mean, two weaknesses, or reflecting electric, nullifying dark, and strong against ice. I mean, that's not bad. Too many weaknesses, really, for my taste, and especially one of them being instant death and not really having a way around it. Not really what I like, so I Mother Harlot is probably going to be a skip for me. Just going to put it out there. And really the main pull of this one is the things I don't like that instant death. And typically there's not enough enemies really susceptible to instant death, or at least weak enough to it to actually make it reliable enough for my opinion. Because if you try attacking anyone that isn't weak to it, you're not going to get it. So, more fusions here in a second. Alright, so Tatooine and Harati gives you Jin. Or Jin. I'm going to call it Jin. Jin. With a G sound on it. So, yeah. Rakuna is always nice. Oh, I think Jin here gets the multi-targeting one, so why not? Now, there is a possibility for all fusion persona fusings to go bad, so do keep that in mind. That's just something you really need to keep in your head before you actually start all this. I'm just going to say it right now. Well, resist physical is always nice. Uh, fire boost... Uh, well, there's Agidine, but that's it. Yeah, no physical. That's actually really good in reality. I mean, if you think about it, completely nullifying physical attacks. Well, that automatically gets rid of resist physical anyways. All right, let's see what else do we have here. Probably got another one I can immediately fuse. Let's see here. Um, how about Mother Harlot? Ooh, that's a good persona, but I... Uh, I'm not... Yeah, it's level 66. Darn it! <sighs> oh well. Eh, well, I guess if we fuse Mother Harlot and Cerberus together, uh, that can give me White Rider. Uh, I don't want to fuse Atsu Foods uh, right now. Well, White Rider's pretty good. Unfortunately, it doesn't have really much magic. It's kind of a bad thing, but has really good spells to make up for it, and I think it has the boost for the one that goes with it, too. Very well, it'll be useful. And there's also something if you fuse more personas. Like, the more you fuse, the cheaper things get. You should know. I believe you know this by now. I think it's at a 10% decrease, which is nice, so you can actually fuse personas. I don't know, just my thought. I think it's nice. Ooh, evade ice. I mean, that's the only thing you're weak to. I mean, it's good. I mean, completely gets rid of all your... Pretty much nullifies every entire type of instant death. That's always nice. Oh, and... Yeah. Whenever you hit 50%, you get the Velvet card. And now it's to 15%. I think it, you get another one at 75%. And that's the last one. Which is like 20 or 25%. So, she said she does have another one waiting for me. Alright, so now we have Uriel, and, which you fused by the two that you quickly saw there. Sorry, I don't want to, I kind of don't want to make this too long of an episode. Probably will anyways, I want to put in the too many bosses, including all these fusions that I'm doing. Oh well. Gotta start somewhere. 
I mean, I do want to eventually fuse most of the Personas. I'm not sure about all of them. There's a couple I really want to get later. Uh, probably the ultimate forms of every per of all the Arcanas, at least. And there's one Persona in particular. Anybody who's played Persona 4 or have seen a or have seen enough of Persona 4 know which Persona I'm talking about. Let's just say... Hmm, what could I say about that? Oh, well. I won't get to it right now. So, how about the Ranga and White Rider to get myself Barong? I think that's for later fusion anyways. Oh, well. I can't fuse it anyways, but that's pretty good at abilities. I can get Siegfried. Uh, who looks very odd. I'll stick it with- I'll stay with that. Siegfried just looks weird, but you know, might as well try to get a little bit better of abilities. I might use Siegfried. Doubt it. I I'm just gonna... I stand by my statement that Siegfried looks very weird. We good with that? Yeah. Sounds good to me. He just has a dagger there. It's actually a dagger. Don't worry, it's nothing absolutely odd. It's just a dagger, which he has oddly on his belt. Uh, really should move it a little bit, since he has the sword in his right hand. Shouldn't it be closer to his left hand, so he can actually, you know, grab the dagger in case he gets attacked on his left side? Oh well. Eh, it's neither here or there. Okay, no. well, I could probably think of a couple more fusions I can do. Time to mess around more. Alright, now we, we have a really good one. You know, Yatsufunza. And... Uh, the other one, I... Sorry. I'm kind of clicking quickly. Sorry. But pause the video if you really want to figure out the fusions. But this persona is really good. Especially since I need a win persona. This one will probably last me for a little bit longer, at least. Probably will be the person I use on um, the upcoming bosses, at least. Gets the very useful Amrita. Now I don't have to worry about those Amrita sodas. And also it gets growth 3, which is always nice. Uh, it does have weakness to electricity, but... I don't have to worry about that anymore. Look at that, repel electric. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I don't need no confusion. Oh, Magarudine! The, well, not the ultimate wind ability, but it's up there. There are better ones, and only the main character can get them. So now that you know that, I am running out of personas. Oh boy. Well, I guess it's time to start buying them again. Let's see, I'm down to five personas. Do I really want to use Nyatagarasu? And White Rider to fuse that one. Eh, I already have Mother Harlot. Oh well. Alright, now Luring Pazuzu and Succubus gives me the Dakarbia. Trust me, this one you need for the next Margaret fusion. It's essential for the next Margaret fusion that I have not yet done. Well, well currently at this moment. Don't worry, I will fuse them. Fuse the next persona for the market request. And then there's just one more, and that one's very easy to do, I think. I think I have all the personas ready for that one, actually, at this point. Uh, I think I may be missing a persona or two, but I think I can find those just by looking around and fighting. Oh, Megidola. Fortunately, you're weak to physical attacks, and I don't really like that. Eh, typically, if a persona is weak to physical attacks, I don't really use them. Unfortunately, it's it's just not good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, right, just registering personas. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Oh, right. I had to go. I went through the secret laboratory again really quickly, and a couple of my personas had 
got negatives. Uh, Siegfried lost a little bit of luck, and uh, that's the default Hanuman. So I probably should just fuse Hanuman away immediately. Uh, Gabriel. Eh, maybe. Let's see, Hanuman, Siegfried... Oh, Baden. Baden's pretty good, actually. A very good debuffer, I believe. But uh, I don't really want to buy them back. Because, uh, yeah. Eh, why not? Eh, weak to light, unfortunately. It's very good fire spells. Uh, I think uh, you'll get Maragi dying here as the last ability I think this one gets. I'm pretty sure Null Physical is there somewhere. Not to mention, a Abaddon looks odd. It's like the slime, but with a huge mouth. Very creepy. Very, very creepy. Sorry about all these fusions taking so long. Eh. I know I'll get someone that wants me to like fuse all these personas and all that. Get some of the other personas. Look, I'll probably eventually fuse all the personas. It's just going to take me a long time to do this. Um, the earliest time you can actually do it is the last day of the game. I am not kidding. The, the first time you can actually 100% it is either the last day of your first playthrough or that's about it, really. Or any time in your second playthrough, really. Well, no, 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 actually, that'd be the last day. Well, unless you actually fuse that one persona. Oh, well, but now we got this persona here, uh, Belfigor. I eh, got some nice Zeo spells. Just gotta move some stuff out of the way. Yep, there we go. Uh, he's a rather odd one. Ignore the fact that he's on a toilet seat. Maybe. Doubt it. I probably won't be using him too much, but I'll be using it for a little bit. My Rakunda's nice. I mean, it does have Rakunda, and typically I only use it for bosses, so I don't really care which debuff I have of the same thing. Does one cost 24 and one costs less? Eh, uh, I don't really like statuses. Oh well. Uh, I'm out of Persona, so I better just go back and take on the mini boss so I'll see you then and I'm back now oh boy that was a lot of fusing I have four personas left in my mind or whatever you want to call it so now let's face this boss here there's a boss here there you should know this by now all right let's take this tank it's a tank, right? What is this? Wow, it's really good to be cake. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, those are my only four personas. Only two I can really use. So this here is the extreme vessel. Um, I don't remember this guy too much. I just remember that it acts a lot like now Shadow Now, to except it doesn't know exact weaknesses. That's about it. Uh, I've got Amrita on this persona, which I really like. Oh, look at that. Weak to wind. This will be easy. Might as well get one of the all-out quotes with Naoto here. <sighs> well, that was a good amount of damage. Look at that. 500 damage right off the bat. Uh, and also, um, the best thing really Naoto has to do in this one is Tempest Slash, if you're using her. Yeah. Unfortunately, she's probably going to be the weakest character here, just due to everyone else kind of having better stuff. Vile Assault. Uh, do I have something better than Vile Assault? No, I don't. Okay, Kanji's gonna be losing a lot of HP, doesn't isn't he? Oh yeah, nice Kanji. Might as well keep the quotes in for this. I mean, come on, they're awesome. 
Oh, Garu dying it up. Take it out. Well, in reality, I probably should have brought uh, Yosuke in in place of Kanji, but oh well. Too late for that now. And my cat, I don't know why he wants to mess around on my couch whenever I am doing something. Ooh, we're getting criticals everywhere. Look at this. We're making this boss pathetic. Come on, Naruto. I know you have more than one. Everyone has uh, three, I believe, in this game. I mean, look how quickly we're taking down this boss. I mean, this is insane. It'd be faster if I brought Yosuke. Think about that one. Come on, kind of critical, critical. Make this quicker. Aw, still 220 damage is really awesome. Oh yeah, I have wind damp on this persona too, so I'm doing only a lot of damage. There we go, Naoto. I mean, we're still not taking down this thing, but we're doing very good damage. The boss killed itself. Unfortunately, Naoto fell at the same time. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah, my per the persona I had was initially weak to electric, now it and now it has the secondary ability of reflecting it. Sorry for that, Naoto. I didn't mean for that to happen. You'll forgive me, right? Okay, now up here... We have a really good gun for Naoto. <sighs> Which is much better than this little thing. This little pop gun. Named for an experiment in finding happiness. Gives 5 plus stats in everything. And it's shiny. Yeah, that's about it. It does the exact same thing as the paper arm band I have for Narokami. Wow, that boss took barely over 4.5 minutes. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that so quickly. Oh, what to do? Uh... Yeah, one more mini boss, and that's about it. Well, I'll see you guys whenever I get up there. Yeah, it'll be soon. I know it will. Because I think I've got one more floor left, so. I don't see much else happening. Uh, I'll keep the recording going just in case if something interesting happens or there's any new enemies, though I doubt it. Oh, okay. There's new enemies. Diorama and Mind Slice. I whoops, I didn't mean to use Garudine. I meant to use my Garudine. Yeah, look how much damage I am freaking doing. Deathbound. That's the best thing she has. Wow, that was terrible. Ooh. I mean I know she's under leveled compared to the rest of the characters here, but Come on. <sighs> Burn them, Yukiko. Burn them. Kaji, can you fry them? There we go. We fried them. Yeah, they're annoying with Diorama. Well, I would hope you would be able to at least get something. Uh, oh, Blight's okay. It can poison. Yeah, Naoto just doesn't get any abilities I really care for. That's the thing. I mean, I might as well just keep her around at this point. Just let her level with the group. <sighs> new enemy, new enemy! We have new enemies! Green sigils. Um. Oh, I know what I should have done. Oh well. Megidola. Best thing you have. Wow. 
That still did no damage. And down goes Naoto again. And down I go. Crap. Oh, God. When's I going to face that boss again? Oh, well. Won't take me, like, more than two seconds anyways. Dang it. All right, might as well show off this, these two new enemies. Uh, yeah, I only have four personas. All right, so uh, let's go, demon on a toilet seat. Um, oh, that didn't work nearly as well as I thought. Ow. Uh, those little fairy things are weak to win, so use that. Uh, the green sigils, I don't know what they're weak to really. Uh, maybe light or dark. But they're weak to getting hit with physical attacks! Oh yeah, I don't like the green sigils, by the way. But, oh well. Not too bad. Yeah. And yeah, Kanji leveled up. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here that can be for new enemies? Uh. Oh yeah, what's this? Eh, Cyclone Migitama. Always nice. Alright, more new enemies! Uh, more demon on a toilet seat! Looks like he's having a bit of constipation, and I healed myself. That's also a tactic you can use now, since personas are now... Since shadows are now starting to reflect your spells, if you have something that absorbs it, you can use it to heal yourself. So you can damage one enemy and then heal yourself. That's quite a useful tactic. Especially at this point since everything's starting to repel your stuff and all that. Kind of annoying. They're weak to getting hit in the face. Well, not really. They're resistant to the physical attacks. Ow. Oh yeah, pretty much all my person, all my characters have a eagle eyes or falcon eyes. I think the exception to this one is Yukiko. Ouch, counter hurts. Uh, yeah, just beat him down with wind. Alright, well, that's about it for the, well, the new enemies that I can immediately think of. Uh, there might be more later. We'll see. <sighs> Alright. The mini boss should be here soon. And we have a rare enemy that I don't want to fight. Oh boy. <sighs> I can't believe that happened. Oh well. Wait, where is the mini boss here? I don't remember. Shows what preparation I go through. Jeez. Um, probably new enemy. You enemy, right? Right? Oh, it's you again! I know how to deal with you! Yes, please do, Kanji. And I accidentally hit my headset. Dang it! Please, let's. That sigil deserves to die! And never return! <sighs> oh, and, uh, Risei did learn Healing Wave. That's nice. It's like 3% of your max HP. Yeah, it's not that useful. The other one that she gets is much more useful because it recovers your SP instead of your HP. Your HP you can recover with, like, 15 SP or something. Yeah, it's... The SP one that lets you pretty much almost never need the fox again. Basically, Cool Breeze without me having the persona for, with Cool Breeze on it. And I am not gonna like this, am I? Good, I got that evaded. Yes! Thank you, Evasion. Let's see here. Uh, what does the persona do? Drain it, okay, good. 
Time to pull a little strategy I like to use the reflection to my advantage. I healed. And yeah, I can just make our Rula and have nothing ever happen. I think they're weak. Those enemies there that I just defeated are worked to fire. Notice how I don't care. Oh god. Um. Yeah, Agi dying it. Agi dying! <sighs> no, I don't want to use Revival Bead. Seriously, I don't have one of those? Wow. Yeah, Zeo down. Oh, crap. You block it. Or absorb it. That's worse. Um. Yeah, you have Dior Han, so I'm going to use you. Right now, I'm not worried about Yukiko. I don't want to know how I healed myself like that. Oops, Garudine, please. God, these sigils are annoying. Bye about everyone but me. Uh, just attack. Thank you, Kanji. That was terrible. I hate those green sigils. It wouldn't be so bad if they didn't spam it. But they are spammers. Oh god, that cost a lot to do that. Oh man. That's why I enter a door like that. <sighs> those green sigils are annoying. I think this is one where you can actually potentially... Uh, this? Oh god, it's a gigantic one. Oh man. Well, mine charge. Uh oh. Oh, it has each of these single targeting dying skills, if you can tell, and it likes to mine charge. Ignore the 999 thing, that is completely incorrect. It has more than that. So, let's do what I normally do. See, way more than that. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, yeah, I'll Rakunda, actually. Lower your defense to me. Lol, blocked. Face a real Agi Dine. You even mind charged too. Actually, file assault, Kanji. There we go. Yeah, this is gonna be a quick boss, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Very quickly. And I'm going to need a little bit of healing. Oh, you're gonna mind charge, but it's probably too late, buddy. Die to Yukiko's fire. Ah, oh, that was simple. Yeah. Did I even get hit in that fight? No, actually I didn't get hit in that fight at all. Some boss. Oh well. I know where the exit is, I'm just going to go straight to it, then I'm going to call it an episode. This episode's probably gone on way longer than I would have wanted to. And I'm probably just going to meet you at the top afterwards, or I'm going to do one quick little montage. Or that's going to last like two minutes. The door to the next area is up here, I believe. I mean, this place has got like one more floor. Yeah, okay. So with all that, I can finally say that's it for this episode. So in the next time, we will be facing um whatever we're going to face at the top. Wait, what? 
Oh boy. Yeah. So we're going to prevent that and on the next episode. I might not show any more enemies off just because it's kind of just more enemies. You don't mind, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys don't. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.